all of Gavilan Canyon behind McDonald's needs to evacuate immediately. The fire has jumped. The fire has jumped Gavilan Canyon Road. Good evening, I'm Shelly Rabando. Doug is off. First, we begin with a fire that has forced evacuations in the village of Ruidoso. We're going to go live now to John Cardinelli. And John, we were told the fire just jumped as we heard Gavilan Canyon Road. So now new evacuations are in place there, right? Yes, Shelley, that's exactly right. Moments ago at the press conference we were at, we were told Gavilan Canyon Road needs to be evacuated immediately. Now, that's the area here in Rio Doso behind McDonald's. We're told it's a very heavy residential area, so if you live out there, please evacuate immediately. Now, as far as other updates, we weren't given a whole lot more additional information. As far as acreage burned, still 4,100 acres, 150 homes and structures destroyed, still 0% containment today. Now, I'm going to step out of the way and give you a view of where we're at right now. You can see still out there in the sky today a lot of smoke. We're told 250 first responders are out here fighting it. The fire was really able to spread due to high winds, reaching as much as 80 80 miles per hour here yesterday, and because winds have calmed down today, eight air units flying in from Alamogordo have been offering their support. We did have um, some successful airdrops that were made, so we got a lot of slurry and water on the fire, so that was great and that helped a lot. And so we hope to, you know, be able to continue to do that. Maybe tomorrow we did have to stand down after the winds picked up. And there were four successful drops in total. As of right now, there are no reported injuries. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. Reporting live in Rio Doso, I'm John Carnelli, KOAT Action 7 News. We also learned this afternoon the Lincoln County Medical Center is moving patients to new facilities because of concerns over the smoke. The Rio Doso Medical Clinic is not operating today, but they believe they will be available tomorrow. Evacuations are in place for much of the areas in and around those fires, including Moon Mountain, McBride, Snowcap, Timber Lake, Eagle Creek, Homestead Acres, Rancho Rio Doso Valley Estates, Deer Valley, Deer Park, and east of Flute Player. And those who evacuated yesterday to the Rio Doso Convention Center tell our crews it was not an easy night. And the neighbors called and she said, get out of your house right now. Get out. She said, the fire is coming. We grabbed our pets, pets, <laughs> and uh, cell phones and ran out the door. It's got to be the scariest thing to leave behind everything that you own and not knowing if you're going to have that to go back to. Fire authorities there say there are more evacuations pending and to keep an eye on the news. If you live in the area and have livestock to protect, Congresswoman Yvette Harrell tweeted that you can bring your animals to the Chavez County Fairgrounds, enter through the Rodeo Arena entrance on Poe Street. You can call Mark Steen at 575-420-3838.